And we continue to learn a little bit more about Roland Caballero's criminal history. This is what we know so what we know so far. He had his first run-in with the law as an adult at 18. In 2008, he was arrested by Katy ISD school police. Caballero was convicted of deadly conduct in that incident and then sentenced to five days in custody. And then in September in 2013, he was arrested for unlawful possession of a firearm by a felon. He pled guilty there and was sentenced to five years in prison. And then he was released before serving that entire sentence, then arrested again on felony drug charges in August 2017. That conviction led to a one year sentence. Now, in the most recent conviction on his record that we have found comes from a November 2019 drug charge. Caballero was sentenced to 90 days on those charges. Christine. Daniela, last night we showed you a photo from inside the suspect's vehicle, a pistol believed to have been used in the shootout with an extended drum magazine that can hold up to 50 rounds. And what you can't see, it's what's known as an auto sear, a device that turns the semi-automatic weapon into an automatic one capable of firing up to 50 rounds with just a few pulls of the trigger. Investigator Joel Eisenbaum joining us live tonight from McGowan and Hutchins, the scene where those officers were shot yesterday. Joel? Christine, certainly a lot was going on on this street corner yesterday afternoon. This is where the suspect crashed out his first car before that carjacking. You can certainly see the remnants of that, but I want to direct your attention real quickly to the cargo vans behind me. They are literally riddled with bullet holes. What we want to talk about tonight a little bit is the firepower the suspect had. What you're about to see is what HPD officers faced head on Thursday. Automatic gunfire. Holy cow. That's 30 rounds in just two and a half seconds from the same type of weapon found in 31 year old Roland Caballero's car. Caballero's gun had been illegally modified with a mechanism like this one that made a semi automatic Glock 17 9 millimeter fully automatic. Can't go anywhere. I can't personally take it home, it has to stay here. Full Armor Firearms manufactured their own legal version of that same type gun. But you can't legally possess it. On the street, they're known as a Glock switch. You can actually get the parts, download them on the internet, and build it yourself if you have some kind of skills. That does not make it legal. As for the 50 round drum magazine seen in this photo, that's a different story. Glock 19. It is fully legal in Texas and sold at Full Armor Firearms for 150 bucks. They caution, though, these types of magazines are not reliable. Spring and it's failed. Presumably, after the Glock was emptied, the suspect grabbed another gun, seen here for a fleeting moment. Exactly what it is isn't clear, but similar style semi-automatics are sold legally and readily available to the public. Inoperable. Tonight, as I understand it, both of those guns are in the possession of the Houston Police Department. They are most certainly evidence. We are live just south of downtown. I'm Joel Eisenbaum, KPRC 2 News.